Well, who expected that? Arsenal 2, Bayern Munich 0. Now, <laughs> I, I, I don't think anyone understands what happened in that game. Uh, Arsenal were a little lucky, but in fairness, all right, that was the game plan they set out to do. Sit back, absorb the pressure, and hit them on the counter-attack. And it worked, all right? So credit to Arsenal. They've still got a lot to do to qualify, but this certainly makes the task a little bit easier. This was a must-win at home. They needed the win. A draw wasn't good enough, and they got it in the end, all right? You look at some of the performances from Bayern Munich players, though, notably Lewandowski. He was off the pace, and yeah, if there, pff, is there any striker that has been in as good as form as Lewandowski to, like, bottle it in a game like this? It's crazy. All right, the chances he had, but there was one player, and I said this to my mates, all right, to look out for this player because I've heard good things from him this season, um, and that was Douglas Costa, and he just made Bellerin look like a complete clown. In fairness, Bellerin gets his own back at the end of the game by uh, providing that wonderful assist for Ozil, but um, anyhow... It was one of those games, alright, it was just pure domination and it was Arsenal absorbing the pressure and occasionally counter-attacking and to be honest, Arsenal had their fair share of chances. Uh, obviously, you've got that ridiculous Neuer save in the first half, one of the greatest saves of all time, to be honest. Like, it really is that good, the fact that he got across to stop Walcott's shot. Uh, other notable chances earlier on for Ozil, Neuer with another good save, Sanchez blasted over. So it's not as though Arsenal were, you know, complete underdogs. They were just getting, you know, beaten in terms of possession. But as we all know, possession isn't everything. And it proved it in this game. Bayern Munich, for all the possession they did have, they didn't create too many clear-cut opportunities. I mean, Lewandowski had a couple. Uh, I think Douglas Costa had a couple of shots. But generally, they were trying to cross the ball in and no one was there. Or they were doing load-driven crosses and it was easy for Mertesacker and Koscielny to defend them. Credit to Arsenal's defence, all right? They did very well. But... When uh, Bayern Munich did get a chance, Petr Cech was there in goal to stop them. He made some incredible saves, notably the one in the second half against Lewandowski. When he's broken through, you think this is it, he smashed it in, but he didn't. Credit to Cech. And this is why Arsenal fans were so annoyed in the last game when our spinner played instead of Cech. They bought Cech because of his Champions League experience and decided not to play him in the Champions League, which is just stupid. Obviously, there was no chance he wasn't going to play because I think Ospina is injured anyhow. So he got the nod and that was the difference, all right? The goalkeepers, Neuer had contrasting performances. I mean, the first goal that Arsenal scored, that is one of Neuer's worst moments ever. He literally misses a punch. It's kind of like Czech in the first game for Arsenal, I think, when he comes out, tries to punch it. And, yeah, it's just the easiest goal Giroud will score in his life. Three minutes after coming on, or two minutes after coming on as a sub, he gets the goal for Arsenal. And then, obviously, later on, Bayern are just last being in uh, possession. Obviously, they're trying to push forward, and it's a straight pass. Bellerin with his lightning quick pace. That's why he's faster than Theo Walcott. Um, and literally just bombs through, uh, side foots it in for Ozil to tap it in. And they made a complete hash of this, to be honest. Neuer almost saved it. And then the follow-up was blasted over by Sanchez, but goal line technology confirmed that the goal was in. So Arsenal won 2-0. And now they have a chance. They have a, a fairly decent chance as long as they can beat uh, is it Dynamo Kiev or Zagreb? I can't remember. And is it Olympiakos? I'm, I think it's those two, but they need to beat those two. I don't see them beating Bayern Munich at Allianz. I know they've beat them now, but Bayern Munich will want revenge. And they also will realise that now they've got six points and, you know, they're nowhere near qualifying yet. They'll obviously qualify, but they'll want to get it done as soon as possible. So they'll come out full force. And, yeah, they'll want revenge, so I'll be extremely surprised if Arsenal can do this twice in a row. But credit to them for doing it this time. It does give their fans some hope, at least. But it also means that if they do go on to lose other games, then they will finish third. All right, if they, Obviously, they've got a better chance of finishing third, second or first is what I'm saying now. So if they don't finish in top two, they're going to get that dreaded Europa League uh, you know, drop where they'll have to go into Europa League and they'll have to play teams in like Ukraine and everything. And it's not going to be good because if you're out the Champions League, you probably want to focus on the league since they have a chance of winning it. So, you know, they're going to have to qualify for Champions League or 
that they're going to be in Europa because I doubt they're going to finish fourth now. Uh, but we'll see what happens. It's an interesting group. Credit to Arsenal. The tactics were pretty good. It was a little bit lucky, but sometimes in football, that's all you need a little bit of luck. So, yeah, 2 0 Arsenal.